Hi guys, Andrew speaking. Uh, wasn't planning on recording this. Uh, don't know why. Just after yesterday doing all the recordings uh, for the V5 with the new values against the ODB. I don't know. And I've got a game later on tonight. And I really wasn't. I was only testing it out just to see for me for myself this bit. But I thought I better record it because a couple of people are interested to to know uh, if there's because uh, what I've done. I tell you what I've done. I've got the V5 and I've uh, installed an XE with the old values on it right instead of the new values to see if that had an effect uh, I'll show you now uh, you can tell new values so Mo's on one uh, on 90 grand a week is worth 20 million uh, just in general everyone's on less and you can offer generally what you you should be offering players back on the ODB um, how else is there a way of showing? Um, so yeah, 25 million most expensive player in a game, apparently. Harry Kane, 22 million. So it's a bit more like the ODB on the values, and that yep. So you can tell what like, I've reset to uh, to that. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna lie. So far from what I can tell, let's have a look, quick look. Um, Red cards are up there. I mean, doesn't look as many in total, but the top level. Uh, and yellow cards, well, maybe it is down. Maybe it is down. This is interesting. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the end of the season, and we'll see how it looks. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. End of the season. And uh, as you can tell, uh, still old values. As you can tell by the wages, sorry, that's what I was looking at, 90 grand, just to make a point. Uh, let's have a look. Teams. Uh, we don't want that, we want... No, we do want this one, sorry. Wow, uh, red cards, yeah, they got up there, to be fair. And yellow cards, so there's no change. It's not the patch. Uh, sorry, it's... Uh, it's not the values. It, it, I think it's the patch. Uh, what I'm going to try next then. What I'm going to try next. I'm going to reinstall the game. With the 0.68. And I'm going to add the March update without the patch. Or without any patch. And I'm going to run that. So that will be the next thing we do. Um, and we'll see how that goes I guess. Alright guys. So I will I'll see you soon. Alright guys, we're back. I have uninstalled my other, well, yeah, I've reinstalled the game uh, from scratch with the uh, 0.68 as you can see in the corner. And I've just added, all I've done is add the uh, March 2018 update, which you can see the players are all spot on. There's no uh, patch, uh, uh, no Saturn patch, no Topini patch. Uh, there's nothing added, it's just the update, okay? So we're going to run this. And as you can see, all the players are here. It's completely up to date. Obviously, there is a slight difference between the Saturn update and the March update regarding the database, but apparently it's very, 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 very similar. So, not going to have too many discrepancies. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to take control of Liverpool. We're going to add in my tactics. Assuming and that can be found, actually. I don't think I have any tactics, so I'll quickly edit in my tactics so we get the same idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to check the settings actually. Alright, they are still set. Cool. Okay, let's have a look. Um, shouldn't have any, should I? No, okay. Let's just quickly do this then. I've never played just the March update, so I don't know if the opposition's tactics are different. Uh, we're going to put you as normal. <sighs> I 
Okay. Right, tactics done. Um, I just want to check something because uh, I've not that said that. It won't say. Okay, uh, maybe it will say on 434. Four. Yeah, should be roughly the same. Alright, well, let's manage a holiday and um, and we'll see how we get on with the reds and yellow cards, I, I guess. It's nothing I'm forgetting, is it? Nah, okay, hold up, hold up. We just got to double check just what I didn't look at. So, yeah, you can see it's old values as well 90, 90k a week. There's nothing I'm forgetting, is there? I have no idea. I might be forgetting something, but we're just going to play uh, holiday, manager holiday. I've done Liverpool, done that just because it's continuity, really. So, I'll leave that in the background, guys, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the season. How you doing, people? Right, we're back. Season done. Man City smashed the league. Okay, right, let's have a look. Um, hard to tell. It's lower. It is actually a lot lower. Only Man United really went above the threshold, but if you look at the average, the average is quite good. Um, probably going to have to do one more season on this one because that's really... It's a little bit more than the ODB. But it's a lot less than the V5. Hold on, 12, 22, 32, 37, 41, 45, 49, 53, 57, 63 to Leicester. 68, 70. Still a lot, isn't it? Still a lot. But the yellow cards is really the issue we're looking at. And that's, that is lower. Is lower hmm. 44, but first season tends to be a little bit different to the rest, I guess. Was it was on the V5 uh, when we checked it? So let's have another, let's have another look. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do another season. I've got, fuck me, I've only got, I've got two and a bit hours before I'm supposed to be playing online. But I should be able to get another season done. I don't even remember how long it. I'm only doing one league, um, one basic league with hidden attributes. So it's got, it is going quicker to do this holiday. In. But um, in fact, let's have a quick look while we're here. Man United, how many red cards? Two, four, seven. It's still a lot, isn't it? Liverpool got three, four. Six. Six seems to be the average for a lot of these. One, two, three, four, five, seven for Man City. Wow, Chelsea, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Chelsea got 11 red cards. Spurs got five. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that's really interesting. All right, we're going to do one more season, though. Um, as we saw, I mean, the yellow cards on the V5 from what we saw were like 70 to 80 on the top. The average was around 34 to 35, and it's around 38 here, 37. Uh, sorry. Um, so it's not too dissimilar. So still a lot of fucking red cards, though, isn't there? Maybe they're just bad luck. Van Dyke got shit. Look at that. Van Dyke got 12 yellow cards and two reds on his own. How is Van Dyke that dirty? Someone tell me that, please. Um, now, that is interesting. He's jumping. He's able to. He's better. He, he improves better on this one than he does on the V5. His jumping doesn't really go above 17 on the V5. Which is incredible. Um, oh, there's a few nice things. Okay. Salah's technique goes up to 17 on this one. Doesn't go above 16 on the V5. Uh, some really nice, uh, really nice differences. Thankfully. What about Bobby? Where's Bobby? 
So I know this is nothing to do with what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just fascinated. Yeah, he looks about the same, to be fair. But still pretty useful. All right. So yeah, we'll manage a holiday another season. And I'll get back to you with the results. And we'll see how it goes. See you in a bit. Hi right, guys, we're back. Okay, another season done. And uh, let's have a look. This is, uh, remember, the 2018... Uh, March update without any patches. Okay, yellow cards are still relatively low, but they are higher than the ODB. They are definitely higher. Red cards stay low. Now that is interesting. So yellow cards are in general are lower, but they are slightly higher than the ODB by about six. Um, the red cards are really, really low compared. But last year, let's have a look at uh, history. Teams. So, see that it's averaging out at around 62, 65. That's really interesting. Um, it's not conclusive at all, but it's really interesting. Uh, uh, referee stats. Look. The amount of red cards handed out is so much lower, and the amount of yellow cards you can see there, like on the uh, V5, it was like 130 uh, for a ref at the top, and about 16 uh, for the for the as well 16 reds and about 130 yellows. So that's really interesting. And you actually, if you look here as well, the uh, the actual refs at the top are actually strict, even though there is a ref that is fair. And he was terrible because he only played 28 games. He was the worst ref out of the lot. Really. Compared. And they all got terrible average ratings. But Okay. So that's what we've got. Uh, I'm going to carry on. I'm gonna probably do another season. This. I can't do it right now because I'm, I'm literally uh, supposed to be playing an online game in like two minutes. So I'm going to save this recording and carry it on probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah. And we'll see what we come up with. Laters. Alright, I know this isn't part of my uh, thing, but this is the online game I'm playing, and this just happened. <laughs> uh, this is the V5 patch, uh, by the way. And they still managed to scrape. I had eight men. They were one nil up. I equalised, and they fucking scored a winner. <laughs> Three red cards. Yep. Just thought I'd show that, because I thought it was uh, just... Emphasizes what I'm saying. It's unbelievable. Fucking bullshit. Hi right, guys, we're back with the uh, testing. Just finished my online game. And I thought I'd uh, simulate one more. Fucking yeah, of course. Cool. Injuries. Let's see how many are injuries. Injury. Injury. Anyway, I fucked that. I can't just look at all that. Yeah, um, we just looked at the end of the season, right? Yeah. I just want to refresh my memory. 65 says so it's more than the ODB and less, and less than the V5. Again, five red cards in a season is a lot, but it's acceptable. If I only got four red cards in the same season, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, even though, let's have a look at it. Um, even though they got double that in the season. <coughs> Eight red cards. I mean, it's still massive, isn't it? It's definitely something that needs to be changed on CM, I think, to make it more uh, fun and realistic. Uh, I know the idea is for it to be a challenge, but and 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 sometimes you can still win with ten men. It's not it's not that big a deal. But I never really go down to ten men against the shit teams. I just played. Uh, you saw the Madrid game, and then I played. I just I, I won every game apart from two in that last game. Uh, it was away to Madrid and away to Arsenal, and both games I got red cards. Don't get me wrong, my keeper kind of cost me against Arsenal, we got five. But um, but still, the red card at 1 0 down fucked me because it was almost impossible to get back against, uh, and they had a world class team built. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to do another holiday simulation, so let's crack on with that because I want to go to bed in a couple of hours, and I hope it will be done by then. So, yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, end of the, another season. 
And uh, let me t pause that. Yeah, end of another season. Let's have a look at team stats. Yellow cards still relatively uh, similar to uh, the ODB. Give or take one team, but everyone else is around the ODB. Uh, even uh, the mid table is almost identical to the ODB actually. Red cards though, is still quite high. I mean, Liverpool with hard tackling, one red card. And again, two more teams down there without any. So I would suggest, I'm going to probably do it another season. Because uh, it looks like Man United were really unlucky uh, with the red cards. And they probably, they must have someone that is really dirty in their team. Oh, Eric by look at that, 14 yellows and one red on his own. I wonder if, let's have a look. Phil Jones, wow. He's developed better in this one. I tell you what, the players develop much better on the uh, March update than they do on the V5 patch. Uh, Phil Jones' stamina doesn't uh, develop at all. And I know Ray mentioned that no one, people's stamina don't uh, develop on the V5. So that's really interesting. So even though uh, it's really just these two, these two players must have really high um, dirtiness levels and Fellaini's there as well. Because them alone have pretty much cost Man United a lot of the reds and yellows. Um, obviously they play hard, direct. Um, Liverpool, let's have a look. Naby Keita, 13. It's always one, so it just seems like there's always one player who's dirty. Because other than that, it's uh, Aspilicueta. Really, when the fuck? He's not a dirty player. But when do we get him? Nine yellows. Okay. Oxley Chamberlain. Henderson got 11 yellows. Let's have a look. Van Dyke again, 11 yellows. I really am impressed with the March update, though. I really love the way the players develop so much better. Um, and like I said, I think I can live with um, I'm doing team stats even though the red cards, I mean if we count them up what are they, 15, 21 um, 26 30, 34 37 40, 43 46, 49, 51 53, 55, down to Newcastle, and then four more. That's only 59 red cards. That's a lot more like the ODB. So, so far, I would suggest in um, what I have found is it is the uh, the patches that are causing the increase uh, in the red cards. Let's have a look at discipline so far. So, uh, obviously, this one season was an extreme, but even the yellow cards don't even touch. Uh, the V5 is still slightly more than uh, the ODB, but it's it's better. Uh, I'm gonna run because this season had an unusually high amount of uh, red cards for one team in particular, uh, and obviously they're just a bit dirty this year. But um, I am gonna run another season on this one. Uh, not tonight. I'm gonna save it for tonight, but um, I'm gonna run another one tomorrow. I'm also gonna run another one on the ODB, and then maybe one more on the V5. So we can get uh, another test sample on each. Uh, but that's really interesting. Um, like I said, hard tackling on my formation all year round. Uh, yeah, you see the assistant manager is mixing about with it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's really comforting to know that. Because what I was worried was it was something to do with the updates as well as not just the patches. And uh, if that was the case, then we'd have to, I'd have to work my way back through the updates to see at what point the red cards and yellow cards massively increased. But so, I, I, I think this one's okay. But anyway, I'm going to test more tomorrow. I'll leave it here for now, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Alright guys, back. It's early in the morning. I've done another season on the 2018 March update, as you can tell from the stats. Um, let's have a look and see what the reds and yellows are saying. Still one team. It seems to always be one team right at the top. Eight reds. I mean, don't get me wrong. The worst on here still isn't as bad as uh, the V5. Um, and yellow cards. Yeah, it's so much lower. 
it's so much lower than the V5. Remember the V5 was 70 to 80 yellow cards. The red cards, there was a lot more. I wouldn't say, I mean, the, the max red card team was around the same, but it's just a lot less in general. So there always seems to be one team that's a little bit unlucky. And I suppose, how many yellows did Man City get? So they got 49 yellows, which is so much fewer than the V5. They're just probably a little bit unlucky with uh, reds this season. But if you look on the average, like five being, or well, three, three to four being the average, is so much better. Okay, um, how many have we got here? We got 13, so it's really early. 13, 18, 28, 32, 36, 42, 48, 51, 57 onto Swansea, 59, 61. Fifty-nine, fifty-one. Uh, sorry, fifty-three, fifty. Oh my God, start again. I'm so tired. All right, start again. Sorry, guys. I'm not with it. All right, so twenty-eight plus eight is thirty-six plus six is forty-two. Forty-eight plus fifty-one is fifty-four. Plus three is fifty-seven down to Swansea. Plus one, two, three, four, five. That's ten. It's 67, 68. Do you know what? There's still a lot of reds. There's still a lot of red cards. It's strange because it's nowhere near as many as the V5, but it's still more than the ODB. So I still feel like there's an issue, but I don't know. But there you go. Uh, if we go to history teams, Man City obviously won it, but with a lot of red cards, but the... the the yellow cards were much lower in general. And I think in general the discipline is much better in this pat in this version without the patches. Um so my only guess is that disciplinary um I wonder if discipline was made worse in this in one of these edits and the patch or the V five patch or something has just uh multiplied it if you like. Okay. I don't really know where to go from here. I'm going to do... Um, let's exit this. That's four seasons on the 2018 update done. Um, let's go back to... The V5 patch. Just double check because I've, I've moved its folder. Uh, it's still okay. Oh, of course, I played it last night, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do one more season on the V5 patch and then I'll get back to you. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright, hi guys. Um, yeah, bit of a fuck up. I was out busy doing stuff and the holiday took it past. Literally, I came back and it was doing the update and I've just missed... Uh, the actual stats for the season. I can only see uh, last season's uh, general. In fact, no, what am I talking about? That should be able to. Ah, ignore me, ignore me. Okay. Okay, so uh, in general, do you know what? They're not bad. They're not too bad. They're still a hell of a lot, a lot more than real life. But um, compared to the ODB, the ODB had a max of like 55. Average would be about 34, 35, so it is, it is still a lot uh, higher. Um, but again, if I got three red cards in the Premier League season, even though that's still a lot, well, still quite a few, um, 
I would in this game I would totally accept that to be honest. And this is the uh the V five. Now as you can tell by this uh the development of Van Dyke and the development of who was it, Suarez, where are you? Uh Suarez, Jesus Christ, faux pas. Uh Mo Salah. They still develop much better on the update, so that is really interesting. That is really interesting. Right, okay, we're gonna save it there anyway, so that's cool. And we're gonna um I'm gonna do one more on the ODB. And then what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to do a couple more simulations while I'm doing this because I'm in for a penny and for a pound. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, we're back on the ODB. Uh, get off. History. And uh, just so we can refresh our memories about the disciplinary record, as you can see here, again, reds and yellows are so much less on the ODB compared to a lot of the updates. So. Uh, trying to find out at what point. I mean, I'm going to run another simulation for the ODB now, but we really, I really want to find. Uh, I'm going to have to um, go step by step through updates because you can see that it doesn't go above 56. It's really consistent with the reds and yellows in this one. So we're going to test out a few more just to see if these are just anomalies. I can't even say the fucking word. Anomaly. Oh, fuck off. You know what I mean. Anomalies. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna run more simulations just to just to check it. All right, so see you in a bit. Hey, then guys, we're back. I'm pretty sure it's the last game of this season. So let's have a look. Yep. Okay. So let's have a look at the stats. Ricard's fairly averaged out. Still a lot fewer. Uh, Thirteen, nineteen. 23, 27, 31, 35, <coughs> 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 55 down to leads, 57, 60 in total, 60 red cards in total, yellow cards again, I mean that's that's closer to 60, but that is still not over 60, that's still a real average um, amount of yellow cards, this is fairly similar to the uh, Anything without the patch, really. Uh, let's have a look at... That's that's the dirtiest red card, uh, season of the whole of the uh, ODB. Uh, the yellow cards are still only 56. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at Arsenal, just out of interest. Barry got two of them. Roberta Carlos really well. Some cracking players in the ODB. Hey, I'm surprised he didn't get most of them, to be honest. It's quite dirty. 14 yellow cards, yeah. And Nicky Butt, yeah, we always know Nicky Butt, good player, but always prone to a yellow and a red. He's lucky not to get more reds, to be honest, those two. Uh, but they still got a fair amount. Hmm. But as you can see, nowhere near the V5 patch. Uh, what I'm going to do next is... What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back. So this is the ODB, right? Let's double check. Yeah, this is the ODB. So I'm going to go and... I'll show you how to do, uh, exit the game. I'm going to go to the first patch that was added, which you have to have, the 0.68. I'm going to go with the ODB with just 0.68 on it. And I'm going to run a couple of seasons on that. I'm going to run it on one league, so it's a lot quicker. Jesus. Um, so I should have this on this one. Let's have a look. CMO 1 or 2 basic with 0.6 patch only. Yeah, okay. Let's just check that the compatibility is fine. No, right, let's put that on. Right, I, I'll come back in a set when it's loaded up. Two seconds, lads. Actually, I'll, I'll, we'll do the load up screen just so you can see. Uh, 0.68. 
start new game. Uh, yeah, manage. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're going to do. Basic as possible so it'll run faster. Because I'll be honest, this takes up so much time in the background. <laughs> like today, I feel like I've only done two seasons. And that's because I, like an idiot, I, I know better now. But I, I was running them off current games I had running with multiple leagues. And yeah, so any new simulations I do from now on will be just a basic game, just a run. And uh, we get an idea. Something I, I pointed out, because again, I speak to Jeffrey and Michael uh, on the chat, and I've shown them my findings up to now. And I've shown him the um, the improvement in players without the patches, and the tapi any of the Tapini or Saturn patches. And he informed me, which I didn't know, was that, yeah, Tapini um, nerfed the training so players didn't uh, grow as fast. Because he said after about 10 seasons, there's a lot of defenders that end up with like 20 positioning. Um, and he wanted to stop that from happening because not enough goals were being scored. And I understand that. I understand why you think that. But at the same time, when you see the difference in the development of players, like in the later patches, stamina doesn't rise. It's just really hard to get um, stamina up more than two or three uh, notches. And that's really frustrating because it's one of the easiest things to fix in real life is your fitness levels. One of the hardest things to do is improve your your tactical levels, you know, your positioning and all that stuff. And um, and because it's nerfed in training, like you buy players really with lots of potential because you can see they've got low stamina, but they've got this, they've got that stat. That was one of my favourite things to do on the ODB was find some nothing player with low stamina and go, if I can get him fit, He's going to be one hell of a player. Do you know what I mean? That's that's kind of where... And to know that that's been completely nerfed so it's not possible takes away so much of my fun from the game with the training and development of players is the best one of the best parts of this game for me. And to hear that that, that was the case... Uh, like, um, and I'm not saying... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping Ray's accurate with what he's told me. And, and from what he's told me, it seems true because with their March 2018 update with no patches, uh, the players just developed much better. And... Um, and he said, like, because I showed him Phil Jones, and he said, but look at how good Phil Jones is. I said, yeah, but, like, Phil Jones isn't a terrible defender. He's still a Premier League defender and an international defender sometimes. And I said, if they want to make him worse, don't nerf one of the things that he can actually improve in real life. Phil Jones, is, one of his problems is he, he dives into challenges. So his anticipation of decision-making uh, should be lowered, or his work rate should be lowered, or his pace should be lowered. You know, you don't nerf... He's like the ability to get fitter. Is that, uh, for me, that's just crazy. Um, and I know it's, it's not just the fitness side that gets nerfed, it's the whole training side. But I found that really fascinating and really disappointing, to be honest, because, as I said, um, that's the, one of the best parts of the game. So I, myself, Ray and Mikey have decided that probably the best patch to try out, I mean, I, think I told Ray to try, we're going to start a new game soon, and we want to try it out without the patches. Um, for now and see how the playability runs and I think Ray's doing a one player because I said there's no point doing a multiplayer until we know how it plays and I think that's what we've decided on whether or not uh, it's the Saturn patches or whatever that's, that's nerfing it or any of the Tapini patches we don't I don't know yet but I'm going to do some testing and we're going to play around but yeah just be aware of that guys I know it's not a massive nerf in training but it's it's pretty significant to be honest and it's it's a pretty it's a big deal to me anyway. I'm really disappointed that that was the case, and I didn't even know about it to be fair. Um, so it makes a difference. Like on the ODB, like I said, you could really find a nice little gem that needed work, but you know you put him as hot prospect, throw him in the reserves, give him some games, and he'd come along nicely if you, if you used him right and played him in the right position. He played well. Do you know what I mean? It, it was one of my favourite things. Uh, so. I get that maybe in the future, like after 10 seasons or so, you may get certain players that come around and they're a bit over, uh, have stats a little bit too. Like I remember defenders did always used to get positioning on regens. It's mainly regens that come back with position at 20. And I get that that happened. But after 10 seasons, I'll be honest, my games don't really last that long. But then you know who's either won the game, like if you're playing a multiplayer. And if it's a single player, I get bored quickly and I want a new challenge anyway. And if I'm going to do a new challenge, you can find the new team, but... I may as well start a new game with a new team, but um, yeah. Anyway, so that's just my two cents. Uh, I 
I'll do Liverpool again, obviously. Bruno Shrew. Okay. So even though it's just a, a slight patch, this is the Greek one, I assume. If I type in a few names. Hold up. This is the wrong. This is the wrong. Path because I have uh, I did some stuff. I have to re uh, change the directory. Um, so it will be blank when I do this. What's it called? CMO one or two. I should have made that a lot easier to type out. CMO one or two basic. Well, I said all right. <laughs> Basic with point six eight patch only with point six eight patch only. Mm, point six eight patch only. Right, there you go. So if you ever can't find your games because you've been pissing around with your saves, it's probably because um you've got the wrong directory. But there you go. Now it's saved, and because I deleted my main CM uh, game, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to do the same with this. Juff, bloody hell! I'd actually really like to play this version again. Uh, some really overrated play players at Liverpool in this version, if I remember rightly. Do that for one. Milan Barros is not bad. Jeff Heskey is the same, really. Murphy, he's got better. He's been improved. Sorry, guys, I'm just fascinated. Reese is much better. Henshaws and Hippie are the same. Yep, slows the cars, it reserves. Jimmy Trunner are the same. John Welsh, bad. Sorry, this is more for my neurosis. Anyway, right, okay, 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 alright. Uh, let's go back, let's put tactics in. It won't be saved, of course. Let's take the keeper off with Bob. I'm in field centre, and you're going to be just sitting on the edge for corners. Uh, set pieces, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably not good. You shouldn't play off pressing on offside trap with slow defenders, which some of these are, but fuck it. Right, okay, let's manage a holiday and I'll see you guys in a bit. Yes, all right, guys, I think we're pretty much done. Let me just check. Yep, end the season. Wow, good fight for the title. Um, okay, where it matters, I was going to look at the players and stuff because I haven't played this version in a long, long time. Red cards, five. Look at the few red cards, that's amazing. Yellow cards, 66. It's, it's, it's higher than the ODB, uh, but I think in general, if you look at the mid, the mid, it's less. I think it's. I think this is. A, I think this is more than acceptable. I think Liverpool and Man United probably just have a couple of dirty players that uh, make that um, a lot higher. Like Roy Keane, Sylvester, Veron Beckham. I'm surprised that they get so many uh, Beckham, uh, Sylvester. Uh, but Roy Keane, yeah, for sure. He's um, definitely uh, influenced the amount they've got. Uh, with Liverpool, I assume I'd probably, I'd say Gerard, maybe Juff. Hippia, Biscan, Hentros, Gerard, Carragher, yeah. Okay, so it's more of a collective dirtiness, but that again is probably to do with the fact that I have hard tackling constantly on. There's no change. Uh, just to double check that, because I did notice the other day when I was looking about the change. See, I have it on normal, so my assistant manager is changing it to attacking. I noticed that the other day. I didn't think anyone was changing it, but he is changing it for certain games.
yeah there you go so he is uh, changing it not tackling but a certain settings he's adjust adjusting as he sees fit but that's fine okay uh, so but I, in general I'm really pleased in the sense of uh, the red cards were lower the yellow cards are lower and that's with the ODB with the 6.8 patch so that is really good to know um, trying to remember now what's the time 25 I could run one more on this but I think all right I'll run one more on this and we'll see how it goes uh, because I would like to see but I think if this was going to be anything like the the patches uh, with the v5 patches then I think that would have definitely uh, the red cards would have definitely come flying in and the fact the yellow cards what we're doing um, the fact the yellow cards are so low Definitely, like in general, I mean, look at the, f Jesus, so few yellow cards and red cards compared, like four teams didn't even get a red card, that's fantastic, uh, and obviously, uh, I expect to get red cards, don't get me wrong, it is an eight that happened in this game, but I think this should be the maximum, I mean, in a season, in this day and age, and what's this, this is 25, uh, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 51, shit, 51 down to Manchester United. That is only uh, 54 red cards in all the season. That's still slightly more than real life, but I think it was probably very accurate back then. I think there was a lot more red cards back in the day. But in the modern game, there just isn't those. There's only a few players I would call like dirty players these days, especially now a few of the defensive teams have gone. But like, I think Martin Noble's quite a dirty player because he's mainly because he's slow. Like Ander Herrera, he's slow, and they foul a lot. They foul a lot. I, I don't know if it's because they're dirty, but they're aggressive and slow, and that's a bad combination. Um, Fellaini gets booked a lot, but I think that's more due to the fact that he's clumsy and a bit of a donkey. Um, elbows everywhere and all that. But I wouldn't say there are any real hatchet men anymore that go out deliberately just to two foot people and things like that. Uh, in the modern game, and I think that's taken into account. Um, but yeah, that's really interesting. I'm going to do another season because, yeah, and after that, I think I will try adding. I'll see. I will just do the season. I'll think about what I'm going to do next. But yeah, all right, guys. I'll speak to you in a bit. How you doing, people? We're back again with another update. So this is the uh, ODB with the 6.8 patch. 0.68 patch, should I say? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, let's have a look. Okay, a few more red cards at the top end, but again, in general, that's 13, 18, 23, 27, 31, 34, 35, even uh, 38, 41, 44, 47, 49, 51. 53 at Wolverhampton. 56. That's still a lot less red cards than the V5. Um, also, I did notice, I watched back the video the other day and I said about how in real life uh, there was only 37 red cards in the Premier League. I'm like, how is 22 and 17, 37 red cards? Dude, there's 39 red cards in the Premier League last year. Anyway, just thought I'd clarify that. But yeah, in this one, a lot, lot less uh, red cards in total. Yes, obviously some teams have dirtier players. And obviously, you play a more aggressive form of football, but um, in general, there's a lot less uh, yellow cards. Yeah, look at the average, really low still. So at a certain point, so it's definitely in the data. It's definitely uh, in in the uh, patches, should I say? I think that um, sorry, not the patches. At some point along the line, let's put it this way: this is ODB uh, red cards and yellow cards, uh, even. The 2018 March update with no patches is slightly higher than this for reds and yellows. It is slightly higher. Um, may I may have to do a few more tweaks to, uh, to look at it, but this seems pretty much as the ODB would have. I mean, look, Liverpool again at the top, but you know, you take what you get. Let's have a look. Fairly consistent, yeah. I mean, that's for me both. So, um, yeah. 
All right, guys. Uh, so I think what is next? Uh, I'm gonna let's shut this down. I'm gonna pull up. Uh, I'm gonna do another test of a different kind now. Oh, give me two seconds. All right, guys. So what I've done, what I'm doing is I'm gonna add this patch to the 2018 March update. Okay, um, I don't know if I need to change this actually. Okay. Right, I think I need to make this uh, file name. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to go to. Oh, okay, here we go. That's, yeah, here we go. Okay, right. So I haven't done this in a while. Let's make it 2018. Keep it up to date. Game speed. We'll leave it at default. I always play default. Uh, hide the public bids. Disable. Yeah, 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 and okay, that should be fine now. Patch has been applied. Okay, so um, so we're going to get up first. So we're going to have another quick look at V five. In fact, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to look at uh, the March two thousand. No patches. We're going to quickly load this up. Have another look at the players. We're doing this as a tester to see how the patch reacts. Oh fuck me. How the patch reacts to um, the game and affects the game. So let's load up the test. We're going to go for a few players. But remember, when we we talked about how. Uh, all right, we need to treat this. This is going to be. Because I changed the file destination for this, so I need to change the directory. Folders. Um, CM. 2018 March no patches I think that's what I called it March no patches yep yeah, okay yeah so let's load that up uh, we're going to look at a few players uh, like I definitely noticed uh, improved uh, a lot more than I. Uh, really? All right, guys, give me a sec. Okay, because I moved the file, I forgot to. Uh, <coughs> I forgot to run to change it back again to admin and run it under Windows 95. I'm on Windows 10, by the way, guys, you may find on certain versions uh, of Windows, you may have to use different uh, compatibility modes. So, but I always find Windows 95 works perfectly well. Oh, I've got to change the directory again because I really changed the compatibility. Once you do this once and it registers fine, it's fine. Um, CM folders. CM two thousand eighteen March up. Uh, no, it wasn't up there. It was just no patches, right? Jesus. Let's double check that's correct. Get off. March, no patches. 
Okay, it should load up now. There we go. Alright. So yeah, we're looking at a few players that we definitely know developed uh, better than we've seen in a long time. Um, obviously for Liverpool, I noticed um, Salah. He's improved uh, a lot more. Uh, technique being the obvious one. Um, Cater, he this is definitely better than I've seen him look. Tackling hasn't got much higher, but he's off the ball, has got higher. And uh, some of the decision making has got higher. So some stats there. Uh, but the ones I did notice at Man United... Phil Jones was a massive uh, increase. His stamina normally is so low and it doesn't get any higher. He got fitter in this one and improved as a player because of it, which is I think is excellent. Lukaku. So anyone that knows this, Lukaku's uh, technique is at 10. And never leaves at 10 in uh, Champ Manager. Look, 12. He's got a, a few more uh, improvements as well, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, who else? Pogba. He's, he's not that great in this anyway, but yeah, he's not bad there. Trying to think of who else it may be as it starts low. Uh, we went to Spurs. Our Spurs is a good one. So, Davidson Sanchez never has jumping iron at 15, and uh, he has low stamina. And they've, he's got fitter, and again, another defender who's improved. Jumping to 17, a lot more realistic. His pace is improved. Obviously, he's quite fast. So, that is excellent. Harry Kane pace is up to uh, 14. Normally we see it on 12, so that's interesting. Uh, who else? Let's think of someone else. Don't really know. Hmm. Trying to think of some press we should look. Maybe. Can't think of anyone else. If someone else I looked at, I was like, okay, yeah, it definitely shows development. Shame is common, very nice. Renato Sanchez improved like it did in the uh, older versions, even though, uh, to be fair, it shouldn't be that good in the first place. Okay, this is a player. His technique's low, he's got random technique. He doesn't always develop that well, but he has a lot of potential. Who else can we look at? Just trying to think of an obvious one. I mean, I suppose the big name players see pretty much. Okay, where's Jack Wiltshire? That may be a good one if he's still here. His stamina starts pretty low. Went to Watford. Okay, so his stamina's up to 16. I mean, he's still going to be injury prone, but the fact he can get fitter, fitter and uh, play more consistently is pretty... Yeah, I mean, look at that. Which is fair enough, um, but he has improved due to uh, fitness uh, getting a bit higher. So that's interesting. Um... Another one, I suppose, is Callum Chambers. Yeah, he looks pretty good there. Alaba, really. Uh, I don't know who else to look at, guys, but I know from uh, my experience as a, I play Liverpool a lot, there are certain players like uh, Matip's pace never goes that high or jumping goes that high, and he is that tall when he is that fast. He's, I wouldn't say he's, the, uh, he's a bit of a pussy when it comes to attacking the ball, but yeah, yeah. Okay, so just because they can, I mean, even Henderson's technique goes up to 14 on this one. It only stays at 12 on the on the uh, other version. So uh, anyway, I'm, what I'm going to do, and I come out of this because this was just a quick check up before we do what I'm going to do next. I've added the patch to this version, and we're going to run a, few, uh, a season or so on it. And let's just double check it actually works before I. Yes, yeah, this worth fine. Let's just double check. Now I've changed or added that in. Yeah, that's still fine. So what we'll find now when we load this one up. Should have a T in the corner, I think.
yeah, 3.9.68 T. Uh, start new game. Hoping there's no problems with it. Lovely. All right, give it two seconds, guys. I'll come back to you when it's loaded up. You are, right, guys. Right, it's loaded up. Let's do this. Have a look around. Obviously, with the Tapini patch, uh, we've uh, set the year 2018, which is amazing. It comes with some really nice features. Obviously, the coloured attributes a lot of people like. Uh, hiding on public links. No, no unprotected contracts. Um, because, yeah, it's just ridiculous. They don't exist. Um, okay. Uh, but what we're looking for here, this this kind of this video has kind of evolved into a because uh, I'm learning as I go as well. I just want to see the changes myself. Uh, Liverpool take control. So again, it's the uh, it's 2018 March update with just the Tapini patches. There's no uh, V V5 patch, uh, just Tapini. Uh, so uh, we need to. That is correct, actually. Yeah, that is uh, correct. Yeah, replace it because that one won't work. Um, yeah, so we're literally going to run some uh, a few seasons just to see the differences. Uh, if there are any differences, we don't know. Uh, like I said, I've been informed there are differences. So, as you can tell, Salah, you can see the coloured attributes. Um, there's no EEC hack on, but that's that's fine. Uh, Van Dyke, you can see what he looks like. So, 2018, it's all good. And we're going to compare it to uh, Tottenham. Okay. Yeah, we're going to compare it to the uh, without the patch. All right, so we're going to run this simulation. Oh, I've got to put it in tactics. Let's do that now. I'm assuming nothing will load up. No, nah, okay, that's fine. Um. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do that because it's different tactics. Uh, we're doing this, this, this. So about this, guys. Just want some continuity because we're going to look at the yellow cards as well, obviously. But we're also going to look at player development, which is ma for me a massive part of the game. All right, um, okay, that's cool. So let's go on manager holiday. Uh, just use current tactics. You can do it like with the players. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to run a what's the time now? Probably got time to run a couple of seasons and hopefully get this video done because this has been over two days. And I'll be honest, okay, I just want to get it done. I want to find out stuff. I want to find out stuff and I want to share it with you. But um. Because uh, I'm not saying it's good or bad, because let me just clarify this, and I probably should use this as a wrap-up at the end of the video, but whatever I find out or say, it's not to say one's better than the other. It's only what I prefer. So if it's true that the training uh, has been nerfed on the patches, I prefer the training the way it was. I prefer to player development if I try, if I get good coaches, good training system, get a good youngster in, I want to see that player develop as much as possible. I don't want there to be a shelf, uh, like a ceiling. Uh, I mean, every player does have a ceiling, don't get me wrong. But I, I want to see stamina raised as high, as high as it can go. Every player should be able to get stamina of 20. That's just fact. Whether they will or not in real life is a, is a question. Depends how professional they go, depends how they're treated, depends how they're motivated. But you shouldn't have a, a stamina out of 20 if a player in the game can never reach it. Um, and I, and don't get me wrong, some players will never reach it in the game because they are unprofessional or they're not getting the game time or whatever, yeah? But I do believe every player should have the chance in the game to reach it. And I, I think the fact that the training was nerfed and certain players just never increased in stamina, which limits speed, which limits jumping, which limits development, uh, I think for me personally, that's a real negative. I really dislike that they've potentially done that and it does seem like that's the case, but we're going to find out. Uh, regarding the reds and yellow cards, so far, anything without a patch has had a lot, has had fewer yellow cards per season, which then obviously equates to fewer red cards in general. Because um, obviously, if you're getting 20 more yellow cards a season, um, 
within reason, uh, then you're going to get a lot more, a lot less uh, red cards. And what you're finding is obviously the player, the teams with the dirtiest players are getting more, which is obvious. But what what you're trying to, what you don't want, I found in the V5 is you're getting red cards all the time for the silliest of things uh, uh, in real pressure games. And it was like, well, that, that just doesn't happen in real life that much. I mean, it happens, but it's not as often as it happens on the V5. And it also never happened that much on the ODB. And what what I want is the playability of the ODB against the new tactics, against the new players. With all the uh, little features they've brought in with, you know, calling the Premier League the Premier League, calling the Championship the uh, Championship instead of uh, Division 1. Things like that. They're really nice touches and the really great work that they've done. Wave Cup being your Europa League in the V5 patch. There's some really nice stuff, but there's no point having all that stuff if it comes with bad playability of the game, uh, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, this is kind of where I'm at with it. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm running this simulation. We're gonna, I'll come back to you in a bit. This video's gone on a bit longer than I expected, but we'll see where it throws up and we'll see where it goes. But um, I know at the moment, Jeffrey has agreed to do a, a one player on the 2018 update with no patches. And he, uh, because he's got frustrated with it all, to be to be honest, as we, as a few of us have, and he's gonna see how it plays. Because uh, I'm doing this, I can't do this and play at the same time. I mean, I could use my other computer, but I'm watching stuff on that. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, well, I'll be back to you soon with the uh, how the seasons are running, and uh, yeah, all right, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so let's have a quick look. First of all. Reds look pretty okay in the uh, on the average. It's 20, 26, 31, 36, 40, 44, 53, 59, down to Chelsea. 63, 67, it's actually on the higher end. It's fairly high. Uh, yellow cards. But look how low the yellow cards are. Now, this is much better. This is what we're really looking at, yellow cards. Red cards will happen due to double ups, or if you're unlucky, you've got dirty players. But, in fact, let's have a look. Okay, that doesn't count. So, Cabasele got a lot of the... Uh, got two red cards, okay. I think Watford a little bit unlucky. I haven't seen him at the top of any list so far on any of these. West Brom. Yeah, to be fair, they've got quite a few dirty players. Dawson. Yeah. Johnny Evans. Brunt. Again, a lot of individual ones. But you can imagine if they sit back a lot, they'd get uh, yellows and they've got a lot of slow players. So yeah, that makes sense to me. But still, it's a lot of reds. Six all around. So a lot of defenders. You know, it's always defenders. So it looks like a, a lot of slow defenders are getting booked and sent off, which is really accurate, to be honest. Where's Morgan? Keeper. Keeper. Schmeichel off three red cards. That's just unlucky. Stoke. This is a lot more accurate, to be honest. Defender, midfielder, old boy midfielder. Minieza, it's not on there. Kurt Zuma, he's not that slow, but he's not that fast. 13. So, yeah, it, it kind of makes more sense. Butland, three red cards, though. Wow. See, I don't like that. I don't see a keeper getting sent off three times in a season. Let's have a look at Liverpool. Mignolet, Van Dijk are the main culprits. Mane got a few yellows. But, okay, so on to the next bit, then. So, I think definitely, uh, I don't know. Yellow cards was good, red cards was high. But um, I want to look at player development. Sorry about the noise in the background. But, uh, Salah, technique of 15. Uh, who else are we looking at? Van Dyke. Yeah, jumping 17 hasn't improved as much. Uh, Lukaku starts with a technique of 10, still technique of 10. Uh, let's have a look at Harry Kane. Starts with pace of 12. Still pace of 12. So you can see where everyone knows in CM the first season development is the biggest, pretty much. 
and the players just don't develop that much. They improve in certain areas, but not a lot, really. So that is really fascinating. Right, we're going to do one more season. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Hi, guys. So we're back, uh, probably for the final time. Let's have a look at the cards, just out of interest with the patch. Fairly, fairly reasonable number of cards compared to a lot of them, and a fairly reasonable number of of yellow cards. To be fair, so I don't think it's a tap this Tapini patch. I think it's the Saturn patch that causes the uh, the multiple, the the extreme red cards. Let's say. Um, I mean. And I say that, I mean, we are generally looking at uh, yellow cards because ultimately you receive yellow cards and if you get too many, you're going to get more red cards. So, but the yellow cards are very reasonable in this in this patch. So I would suggest that the Tapini 2.21 patch is fine. The only versions we've seen excessive reds and yellows is on the satin patch, which is unusual, but, you know, there you go. So at least that's maybe some good news. Maybe we can use the uh, the Tapini patch for the up-to-date years, uh, the color attributes, things like that that are really fun. But obviously you still only get... Oh, you do get seven subs. You do get seven subs in this version, which is excellent. Uh, the only thing you don't get is... Let's have a look. Still says first division... Uh, still will say UEFA Cup, UEFA Cup and uh, Champions Cup rather than Champions League, but these are minor things for playability. Um, let's see about the development of players. Uh, Salah, yeah, 16 still hasn't gone up to the 18 we saw without the patch. So there you go. So. These are the things you need to take into account, I think, if you're choosing what version you want to play. If you're going to have a patch, player development's not as good. Uh, if you have the uh, Saturn patches, uh, not only is player development not as good, but you get a lot more red cards. If you play with no patch, but just the updates, you've got good player development, reasonable uh, distribution of yellow cards, but you don't have the current year, you won't have a lot of the bells and whistles that come with the updates, like the subs, the, the competitions, and all these kind of things. But for me, that's they're just bonuses for the player. You really want the best playability you can find. Um, so let's have another quick... What am I doing? Just to double check. Yeah, relatively consistent. I'm going to restart. Now I'm going to just exit this. And then come back in two seconds. I'm going to load up uh, the uh, 2018 March update without without the patch correctly and recheck while well, it's fresh in our memories. To be fair, it'll be fresh in your memories, just not mine because uh, it was ages ago, about two hours ago. Um, let's do it anyway. No. Just double check the uh, compatibility. Yeah, it's fine. I uh, spoke to Ray, who's been uh, testing the 2018 uh, update with no patches on his computer, and he says it feels much better playability as well. But, I mean, this is all my opinion, and this is, well, it's not opinion, a lot of this stuff is fact, but in my opinion, I prefer to play 2018 without a patch, or uh, because I don't want tons of red cards, I don't want, uh, yeah, I don't want to have my players not uh, develop as well as they could, because it was nerfed, I think that's not correct. Um, so this is just me, but if you like all that stuff, and you're willing to put up, because it's not the end of the world that players don't develop that much, and it's not the end of the world if you get a few more red cards. Um, so this is it. So if you look at Salah here, Technique 18. 
Obviously no patch, so no uh, coloured attributes, which you wouldn't get, which is a shame. Uh, and regarding red cards, you still got one team up there. What about the yellows? The yellows is more accurate and fairly, uh, fairly uh, stable number of yellows. It's not in the 70s or 80s like we saw on the V5. So this is probably my record. This is what I will play. This uh, the uh, 2018 no patch. Um, like I say, a lot of interesting information I didn't know before I started this journey. I literally started this just to find out why, uh, you know, whether I was um, imagining the excessive red cards on the V5 and the V4 patches, and I wasn't. <laughs> I absolutely wasn't, which is uh, refreshing. I'm not losing my mind. But along the way, I found that player development is different as well. And I never knew any of these stuff with the upgrades and and the patches, sorry. Uh, and that's, that's kind of amazed me, uh, which gives me a whole new perspective on how I uh, upload my next games. I mean, I'll test out the new uh, patches, but unless they uh, change the disciplinary stuff and the development of players, I won't be playing them personally. But feel free to do them, because they do have a lot of other great stuff in there. And if you're willing to put up with that kind of thing, then definitely get them because they do keep the game current with the values and all the other stuff. But for me, I like playability. And if I can get the latest players with the good playability, then that's what I'll play no matter what year it is or what colour attributes I've got. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say on it. I'm going to leave it there for now. And uh, this has taken a lot longer than I expected it to. It took me three days non-stop pretty much. Um doing simulations so yeah um give me your opinions give me your feedbacks in the comments as well and let me know if you knew the stuff i've shared or uh, what you think on it uh and yeah and i'll speak to you guys and see you soon probably all right speak to you later. bye